My name is Sam Schild and welcome to my gym. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power as long as you're dreaming This is the lobby or the waiting area. Here people can wait uh, until the training starts or after the training they can drink a free cup of coffee or tea. Uh, also, I got the table now placed on the... The parents can uh, look, uh, look inside of the gym but they cannot interfere because uh, a lot of time this happens and I think it's uh, not good for the children to be interfered all the time. It, it's better for them to de uh, develop and discover themselves. This picture is really eye catcher in, in the gym. Uh, it's my last fight against the Daniel Gita. It was in the Glory 4 in the 16-man tournament. Final fight. Uh, referee uh, Joop Ubeda, yeah, legendary referee. You know, uh, he's everywhere. He's in, in the business for a really long time, and even he is not knowing what's going to happen. Yeah. With my preparation, I went to Thailand uh, with a fight game camp. Uh, it was really a good preparation, and one of my training partners there, you know, when we when we make the kick. He blocked with one hand and I told him, block with two hands because if you block with one hand I know I have the power to knock you out. And this actually, this happens in the final, in the final round, last picture of my active fighting career, it happens. He blocked with one hand and he's going down and yeah, it's really good, a good memory for me. Sammy Schilt, Glory Heavyweight Grand Slam Ladies Champion. Can I please have the chairman and the CEO of Glory Sports International? Here are the, the airbikes. I uh, like to use them myself, you know, uh, to get a little bit of conditioning. At uh, first I had one, uh, only for personal training. But then I thought, okay, when we do personal training, you know, I, I'd like also to move a little bit. So I took another one and uh, so we can uh, train together. It's always uh, nicer to train together, so uh, that's why I have the airbikes. Really good. Here we get uh, trophies. This is uh, the trophy of the K1, uh, the last K1 I fight against the Badr Hari, uh, 2009. Uh, I got only one trophy, also uh, I got the belt on the, on the other side. I got only one because uh, the championships I fought in the K1 and in the, in the glory, that were unique events. You know, you got a world championship, you has a, then you got a ranking and then you become champion, but this is a tournament. And a tournament, uh, if you are a tournament champion, you are the tournament, tournament champion forever, you know, because then you're the world champion of 2009 and they're the world champion of 2012. The other trophies are from my students. Uh, actually, I'm more proud on, the, on that trophies because uh, they are proud to put them in the gym and to show them to, to all the other uh, students. So I really like it. Here I got uh, also uh, the merchandise we have, uh, raining coat, uh, t-shirt, bag, pants, uh, cap. Uh, the raining coat actually was also an idea of one of the, the parents that they said, ah, they have to come to the training and it's raining, why don't you get a raincoat? So we got the raincoat also. I, I like to listen to my, to my customers and to my uh, uh, members. Of course, the administration has to be done uh, when people are coming, uh, coming to the gym, they check in. Uh, I also uh, sell the merchandise here, like the t-shirts, uh, hoodies, uh, sweaters, uh, fighting gear. Also, uh, I sell uh, supplements, you know, supplements uh, nowadays are really important to, to keep you going. The CBD oil, also, I try to use it myself, it works really good. Also, after training, we got some uh, protein shakes, everything to, to fill up the, the muscles again and uh, to get the, the, the good experience of it. Uh, on this side, uh, I got the belt. Uh, I got only one belt and only one belt is enough to remember that I'm a champion. Uh, also, there's a certificate of, uh, of the honorary citizen of uh, Sadlare. I got the medal from the mayor. Uh, also, uh, my diplomas uh, of the of teaching. World Championship against Ray Seifo. Ray Seifo got to knock me, uh, knock me down, end of the first round. And then he was, he was really confident and I think he did not expect me to recover so fast. So the next time he tried to do the same trick, I adjusted 
and could uh, put him down. And uh, it was for me it was a good victory. And I think for Reisaif it was a good try because uh, he almost got me. Here we got the certificates of my uh, uh, teachers here in the gym. The, the first one is uh, my own certificate. It's the nine band. I got it from uh, Kancha John Blooming himself, and uh, he's uh, one of the founders who give the full contact karate in Holland, Europe, and all over the world. So. I'm really proud on it and I think it gives me a big responsibility to prove that I'm worth it. Uh, the other certificate is of a teacher of me, Jan Noorde. Jan Noorde was uh, giving the uh, youth, youth lessons and he was struck by cancer four years ago and at this time he's still uh, fighting against the consequences of, of this disease and I really hope he's coming back and that's why the certificate is here so we still remember him and we still wish uh, to, uh, to let him come back. Then uh, the set of on the side is for my uh, judo teacher, uh, Matthijs Hoster. He is uh, giving uh, judo here. I think almost uh, for almost for 10 years already. I still remember I, teach, I uh, taught him. Uh, like he was a young boy from 8 to 14. He did judo uh, with me in the class. So and now he's a teacher himself. So he's really a good teacher. Peter Boer. Uh, we go back, uh, I think, like uh, 20 years or something. Uh, in the karate, when I started the gym here, he, uh, he uh, started with uh, kickboxing and now he's the head coach of the, of the, of the club. Then uh, the last one is uh, Danny, uh, Danny Rutgers. He is the last, uh, the last guy who uh, entered the team. He uh, started with Tai Jitsu, but in five years also he developed himself as an all-round teacher and really asset to the team. Here we got the dojo. Here we're teaching uh, like uh, 40, hours, uh, 40 hours a week. Uh, karate, kickboxing, tai jitsu, judo, uh, conditioning, personal training, everything is happening here. This is my bag from the old days, uh, Golden Glory bag. Uh, I still like to work on it sometimes. <laughs> He's really hard on the bottom, so <laughs> when people come for the first time and they kick, <laughs> they make a big mistake. Outside is also, we got uh, a little bit area for the boot camp. Uh, I also do the boot camp uh, for companies and uh, for the uh, fire department. But when I can uh, find the time, uh, you know, I, I try to work out myself. Uh, but uh, this is really difficult because I like to train when there's, when there's nobody in the gym, when I'm alone. And there's not, not much uh, alone time. So this is a little bit difficult, but uh, I try to, in between the business hours, I try to, to try to work out a little bit. But actually, you know, for me, it doesn't feel like training because I, I'm doing something. Yes, I'm moving, but I'm, I don't have the goal I used to have in training. You know? OK, let's go upstairs. The first thing you see when you walk upstairs is a, is a big trophy. This big trophy here. This trophy actually uh, opened all the doors for me. After the, the Dadiuku, I was invited to Pancras. After Pankers I fought in the UFC, after the UFC I fought in the Pride and ultimately I came into the K1 and got my biggest success. So it all started with this World Trophy. Then we get upstairs. Here you get into the Semi Shield Hall of Fame. You can see the posters of the, the K1. Here also a poster of the early days in the Pankras. Of course here the football, the t-shirt of our football team uh, FC Groningen. I uh, teach the, the youth of them. We can go back here to the dancing hall. This is my wife's uh, territory. Uh, on this side I really like this. There are the pictures uh, of five years ago when we started for the first time. And pictures of now. Also our diplomas from the, from the Zumba. I'm really proud of her, she, you know, she, she come from Brazil, she lived in Japan and now she lives in Holland and she accomplished this, you know, she have a really tight group of uh, Zumba girls, uh, she's not only the sunshine in my life but also she makes everybody shine when she's uh, teaching, she's an excellent dancer and she really makes it her own, so I'm really proud of her that she accomplished that. Then we go to the, the office. The office is always a bit of a mess. I tried to clean it up, but it's really hard to do. Uh, yeah, here I work. Here I, uh, I also got some uh, tro some trophies here. It's always nice when uh, 
when the children walk by and they see the trophies they are <laughs> they are flabbergasted you know i also print my t-shirts here so uh, the winner of the youtube uh, contest the t-shirt is made here Also, I'm very proud on this uh, uh, picture here. Of course, there's my wife uh, when, when she was uh, dancing in, in Japan. And this is uh, the picture with uh, the king. On this side, I make uh, the storyboard. You cannot see it now because I put all the uh, newspaper articles over it. But uh, when you see here on the back, it was uh, the first plan of five years ago, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to be as, as a gym. Uh, and I think it uh, all developed the way I had, uh, I had in mind, so I'm really proud on this. Uh, if, if you like this video, you know, uh, you can like it, like it or subscribe, uh, even better. And uh, tell me what you want to see in the next video and uh, we're gonna see uh, if we can uh, do something for you. Us, thank you very much. You just gotta take that, make them take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that. Are you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back?